a historic red carpet last night here in Cannes and with Martin Scorsese. It's been 37 years since he was here the last time, Martin Scorsese, with one of his own films at least. He is in the company of the entire crew from the film. And the film will be released uh, in October 2023. It's uh, Martin because they had received uh, the Golden Palm for Taxi Driver in 76. It was quite a scandalous film back in the day. You can see there Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and Robert De Niro. So Martin Scorsese won Best Director Prize for After Hours in 1986. And uh, last night he was applauded by thousands of people in the streets and in the movie theatre for his film Killers of the Flower Moon, which is not in competition, but was screened last night. Here we have some of the actors from Killers of the Flower Moon. The film tells a story of a series of murders on a tribe of American Indians, the Osage people, who live in uh, the Grey Horse Reserve. And it transpired that it was a petrol, an, an oil field, rather. And Hoover was interested with the inquiry, and that was the birth of the FBI. Here we have Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Jesse Plemons, Williams Bello, Tali Redcorn, Yancy Redcorn, Gillian Young, Lily Gladstone, Tantu Cardinal, Janai Collins. Look at the number of photographers we've got out here to capture this instant, this world premiere screening. The film is produced by Apple TV. It costs $200 million to make, and it will be released in movie theatres in France on the 18th of October of this year. The press gave a very, very positive welcome to the show last night. It's an alternative show, a superb Western, according to different newspapers here, a masterpiece for another news, French newspaper. So the film is a reflection of the director's uh, talent, although a little too long, said another newspaper. Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro are two pieces of the puzzle, and here they are here, two major uh, elements in Martin Scorsese's films. Both men have acted together, but a long time ago. This is the first time they've acted together for Martin Scorsese, though. Leonardo DiCaprio is known to us all in Django Unchained, Shutter Island, Inception, Aviator, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Catch Me If You Can. Martin Scorsese came to Cannes to present Mean Streets in the uh, uh, director's fortnight. That was back in 1973. <laughs> and he's being extracted from the group so that the three actors can have their photos taken. These are the three leading roles of Killers of the Flower Moon. So Martin Scorsese is on the sidelines watching the show. Robert De Niro was in many, many films that have been shown here. 
remember Taxi Driver, Palm women, winning film. He was returning, a returning soldier from Vietnam, driving through the taxi, the streets of New York, and uh, the audience back in the day was shocked by the violence of the final, screen, uh, final scene. So these two actors have worked together before, 30 years ago in a Michael Ketton Jones uh, film back in the day. DiCaprio was just a teenager back then. Uh, for that film was called This Boy's Life, and DiCaprio's dream was to become a Robert De Niro later on in his career, and he's always uh, been a source of his uh, inspiration and commitment. So now his dream has come true, of course. Robert De Niro is a major actor, as we all know, who's transformed his, himself for many, many roles in Raging Bull. He had to take on 30 kilos and train to be a boxer. He learnt uh, the sax for New York, New York. Everyone's shouting out his name. And here we have the director back in front of the photographers. A filmmaker, a film lover, who helped create the Film Foundation in 1990 to protect films from the Hollywood golden era. And with uh, Thierry Frémont, they've created a World Cinema Foundation for him. Movies need to be seen and seen again and printed in our memories. The new Hollywood movement in the 70s back in the States attracted uh, Spielberg, De Palma, Friedkin. They're all members of that new Hollywood wave. That was uh, a time when Hollywood was addressing essential questions because TV was on the rise back then. And uh, they helped open up the world to different authors in including uh, an auteur film, Taxi Driver, Leonardo DiCaprio, of course, is the hero of Titanic, Romeo and Juliet. He uh, was in The Beach also. The Wolf of uh, Wall Street, to come back to uh, Martin Scorsese's film, that was a very satirical film. A thirst for money, he played the role of a trader. It was back in the, nine the 80s, in fact although the film was released in 2013. A huge success which generated all, almost $400 million in a box office. Scorsese says that uh, DiCaprio shares the same taste for stories because DiCaprio has also produced many of uh, Scorsese's films and DiCaprio is uh, the last member of a certain generation of actors who work with uh, the major um, directors whilst continuing to have a large fan base. Here we have Lily Gladstone, who uh, acting, is acting in Killers of the Flower Moon. Meanwhile, Jesse Plenance was chatting with Martin Scorsese. There are all kinds of scandals. Uh, attached to Scorsese's career. For example, when Taxi Driver was released and it was screened in 76 here in Cannes, the film crew said that they didn't leave their hotel rooms. They were frightened they would bump into a journalist. They were frightened that they would face some backlash about uh, that film. Mm -hmm. 
They were staying at the Cap d'Antibes and they would only leave the hotel if they could do nothing else. They really were hiding from the press. That's what Judy, Jodie Foster was saying. There we have Jesse Plements on the screen. Scorsese chatting with the press, the attaché de press. And here we have another section of the actors from the film. Let me give you the pitch again. It's all about a series of murders committed uh, in a tribe of American Indians, the Osage people, in the 1920s. And the film marks the birth of the FBI because the investigation is given to Hoover. A series of killings on an Indian reserve, which turned out to be an oil field. Hence, all of the interest in that spot. The film is long. It lasts over three hours. It's a rather dusky western. Martin Scorsese is looking back over the origins of the United States. A theme which he uh, has broached in other ways, in other films of his. He is fascinated by the genesis of the United States. Martin Scorsese with Thierry Frémaux, the general manager of the film festival. Together, these men created the World Film Foundation to protect and preserve world film. For Martin Scorsese, Cannes offers a window on the world of cinema. Being here is a way of reassuring ourselves that film can be reborn time and time again. He, of course, will remember his golden palm and his uh, director palm for after hours. The current film, Killers of the Flower Moon, is the, adapt is the adaptation of a novel written uh, by David Gran, an American writer. The general manager of the film festival is paying tribute to the uh, press attaché of Martin Scorsese there. Someone who's usually in the shadows, Jean-Pierre Vincent. He's the press attaché for the film Killers of the Family. <laughs> Yet let's not forget all of the people who work in the shadows, behind the glamorous lights. Robert De Niro there, sneaking off. Everyone's calling Robert De Niro to come back from the Godfather, from Raging Bull. He did preside over the jury in 2011. And do you know who he gave the palm to in 2011? It was the Tree of Life, Terence Malick. He enjoyed being president of the jury, and he's hoping to be invited back again. He said he hates seeing himself on the big screen. He says that he always falls asleep when his films are, are being screened. Nobody checked whether he was sleeping last night in the theatre, but we do know that the... Um, audience reward, rewarded the film with over eight minutes of a standing ovation 
the movie theater was full to the brim. 2,500 people came to see that screen. The screen, uh, the movie will be screened in France, released in France in October, although it was produced by Apple with a budget of $200 million. So the crew from the film is heading back to the festival hall, slowly but surely. They're going over that uh, footbridge that we all know so well now. I'm sure there'll be some autograph hunters waiting for them inside the building. Then they'll be in the press room for the press conference. So if you're not in Cannes, let me tell you that it's a good opportunity to see uh, where you, wherever you are to look at the films directed in the past by the directors who are screening their latest films here. Let's think of uh, Scorsese films. You could go and see Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Raging Bull, The King of Comedy, of course, which was in competition, After Hours, which got the best director um, prize. War, Wolf of Wall Street, of course. There are many, many films that you can go and see. Casino is another example in 1995. His films are often thought to be rather made for men, but uh, no, because he doesn't say that. He says that a lot of actresses have been uh, uh, named for um, awards. Eleven of his actresses have been uh, 